Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today I'm gonna do a little short uh, comparison regarding about the Samsung uh, J7 and then the, my uh, Note 4. So as you can see, uh, the, the J7 is the 2016 model. And uh, this one is for Boost Mobile. And it is not unlocked. I tried to insert the AT&T SIM card with the, which is active. I can insert it, but it says uh, invalid SIM. But it, does, it still allow me to uh, uh, access uh, all the apps and everything, but just will not allow me to call. So it is locked to uh, Boost Mobile or Sprint PCS. So this one, the J7, it's uh, 1.4 gigahertz. But the display, the resolution is only 720p by 1280p pixel. And then the pixel density is uh, 267 uh, ppi. The screen size is 5.5 uh, inch. And it has the uh, latest uh, Android uh, V version uh, 6.0.1 Marshmallow so and it has a 13 uh, megapixel on the rear uh, camera and then the front camera is a uh, 5 megapixel with the uh, LED flash up there and then uh, the Note 4 which is the See, that one is uh, 2014 uh, in September was released or announced, and then uh, uh, available was in, back in uh, October. And the Note 4 has a 5.7 inch uh, the Core HD. The pixel density is 5.5. I mean 5.7. I mean. 518 ppi pixel density. He has a Gorilla Glass uh, 4. So I upgraded to the latest version now. This is uh, Marshmallow 6.0.1. And this one there is a uh, 16 gigabyte versus uh, 32 gigabyte on the Note 4. And then I uh, could uh, the expansion for the J7, you could go up to 128 versus the uh, Note 4, you could go up to uh, 256 uh, gigabyte of uh, micro SD card. And then the uh, rear camera on the Note 4 is 16 megapixel. And the front facing uh, camera is only 3.7, but without the LED uh, flash. And this one has. Uh, stylus you guys know that so overall the J7 is pretty good compared to uh, what are you paying I got this on sale for like $149.99 plus tax at uh, Best Buy versus uh, if you purchase this uh, back in 2017 you are probably looking at about almost 800 bucks but I renew I renew my contract back then with the uh, AT and T. I believe I paid like two ninety nine for the upgrades. So but uh, this one offer uh, fast charging versus the J seven does not. But unfortunately the fast charging would uh, destroy your battery because I experienced uh, three different batteries already. This is my third battery for the Note 4. And the J7 come with the 3000 milliamp uh, lithium ion battery, which is pretty good. Compared to the lithium uh, ion on the Note 4, which is 3220 uh, mHz. Besides that, uh, as you can see, the capacitive uh, button does not light up.
for the J7. I can see the back button light up, and then the multi-desk uh, button it lights up too. So if you're gonna use the J7 at night time, you're gonna be almost like blind. Like where is the button? You know. But besides that. It's a pretty good phone, and then the sound quality is uh, pretty awesome as well. Compared to my Note 4, similar. So let's go ahead and then uh, show you guys uh, on this. Uh, if you guys want to experience a problem with your J7, I'm going to show it to you how to go into like a uh, safe mode. You want to power off your phone. Okay, for this you want to go ahead and then press power. Once uh, the you see a Samsung logo on the display, you want to go and hit that volume bu uh, volume down button and keep on holding it. So you press power, and then you press uh, volume down button and press and hold it down and tell your screen pop up and then on the lower left hand corner you will say uh, safe mode sorry I gotta hold this because it's kind of slippery it's kind of going up Okay, so you can see a uh, safe mode. That means this will disable all the application that you install, and everything will be back to factory mode. But you're not erasing anything. Safe mode just uh, prevent any of the third-party application from uh, making your device slow or causing problem. And this is the way to troubleshoot your phone. Uh, with my Note 4, when I go into my safe mode, the icon will not show, it will show black. But somehow this will show a uh, color icon, I don't know why. But when I click on it, it does not allow you to open the app. Okay, so these are the application or the apps that I downloaded, so it would not allow me to open anything in the safe mode. That gets, goes the same thing with the Note 4 or, or other uh, Samsung phone that's out there. So if you want to get out of this mode, the safe mode, you can simply pull down the menu and you see the safe mode enable, you tap over there. <clears throat> then you could uh, press uh, restart now or another alternative way is to uh, press and hold the button and just either power off or restart uh, your device so I'm gonna go ahead and pull down my menu and just uh, click on restart now <clears throat> So next step I'm going to show it to you is that in case you forgot about your uh, PIN number or unlock code to get into your phone or uh, swipe pattern. But if you do that, you're going to lose everything. So make sure you have backed up everything already before you do these uh, steps. Or else you're gonna regret uh, doing it, okay? So you wanna go ahead and then, uh, for example, oh, 
that's not my example. For example, you forgot about a pattern and your phone might get disabled. Or if you don't know your code, the four digit code, or your fingerprint, you want to go ahead and then uh, power off the phone. Power off the phone. You want to press three buttons, okay? The home button, the power, and then the volume up button at the same time. And then uh, after that, you keep pressing the key until the recovery mode is being displayed, okay? So you just keep on the three button, the home, the power, and then the volume up key. So you probably will see an Android uh, icon. There you go. Just let go. And then the recovery mode should give you an option. So up to this point, if you uh, go to the menu and then you restart the phone, you will not, will not lose anything until you do the factory reset or anything like that. Oh, another thing you could do is to uh, wipe out cache. If you do the wipe out cache, uh, you will not do anything. Just wipe out the cache. So let's see. So I press the home button. Now you can see the menu. Enjoy recovery. You see a reboot now. Reboot to bootloader. Apply update from ADB. Apply update from SD card. Wipe data factory reset. That will reset everything and you'll lose everything. Or you could go to a wipe cache partition. Or oh, there's a mount and system. Or view recovery lock. Or power off. So I'm just going to go ahead and then uh, do the data factory reset. And you once you go up and down by using the volume up or down, Go to the menu, and then after that, you're gonna press the power to confirm. So I press power, and it give you a warning. Until you hit yes, or you say volume down button to go to yes, and you hit the power, it will wipe out everything. So you better make sure you think twice before you do that, or is. So after that, you click on yes. So I say data wipe completely, complete. And after that, you're gonna go to a restart system now. And your phone should be restored back to its uh, original state when you bought the phone. Okay, so it's uh, rebooting.
So it probably is going to ask you to set up your email and your uh, Google account and all this stuff. So you could do the wipeout cache if your uh, system, I mean, after you do like the update. And uh, after the update, they give you kind of a problem. You could go to wipeout cache and that will not do anything to your phone. You will not lose anything. So I guess, as you can see now, is uh, I want you to set up. Is a navigation feature for the visually challenged and impaired. To activate voice assistant, press the home key three times. So right now it's going to ask you to set up your phone, either uh, English, uh, Spanish. Vietnam. I guess it doesn't speak in Vietnamese. Korean. Chinese. Japanese. So I guess is a uh, voice assistant is a navigation feature for the visually challenged and impaired. To activate voice assistant, press the home key three. So it's only in uh, it can speak uh, English and Spanish. Okay, at the beginning, kind of guide you. So anyway, this is my quick tips and tricks on how to uh, put a safe mode and then a recovery mode or wipe out cache for your phone and I did a little comparison with the Note 4 so overall this uh, J7 phone I would highly recommend it uh, it's a pretty good phone and the lifetime of the battery is uh, pretty excellent as well alright so uh, please uh, like the video give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel share it on the social media or with your friends and families thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next uh, video like always peace out